Here's the Lego The Lord of the Rings Pirate Ship Ambush from the movie The Return of the King. This set was released in 2013. It's the only shit they made in The Lord of the Rings and I think it's a really good replica from the movie. It really looks like the one in the movie. So first off, I'll start with the box art. So as you can see, it looks really good. You have like the battle happening. You have all the soldiers of the dead that are with Aragorn, Gimli, Legolas, and then they fight the pirates. It, oh, unfortunately, it only comes with one pirate, but you do get two orcs from Mordor. So that's not bad. It compensates for the lack of pirates, in my opinion. But the box art is pretty good. If you check at the back, you can also see that there are a few play features. Like you can lift this up and store stuff under there. You have this battle happening there. You have missiles that can shoot torpedoes. You have this catapult. I really like this catapult. I remember when I was younger, it was like, I was like super impressed by it. it it's not actually like in the movie, but it's just a nice add-on that, that you can also use for other battles, let's say. So it's good for playability, right? Let's say you have like Orcs fighting Gondor, you can use that catapult, which I think is pretty neat. Then you have all these mini figures as well. No cannons, but again, in the movie there wasn't any cannons, so I guess it makes sense. But it's a ship, it's a, it's a ship, so I would have liked some cannons, but the torpedoes do a good job. I also noticed at the front there are also some shields right here, which I really like. I think it just adds some nice looks to the boat, and there were some in the movie, so it's a really nice, and it's really accurate to what's shown in the movie. Now, without further ado, I'll open up this box and show you what's inside. So I have the sails right here. Always put them between two cardboard just to keep them flat so they don't get damaged. I'll just leave them like this. I don't really need to show them. They're just like the ones on the box. Okay. Now I'll just pull out everything. But what I really want to show you guys are the mini figures. I think that's what's important. You have those big pieces. They're always like the shit pieces. I noticed there were some like that in the Black Pearl. So that's just, those are really good pieces. They should always use them for bows. I don't see why Lego wouldn't, right? They literally just created those pieces for bows. So it's nice that they have it. The instruction manual, there's two of them just like many other uh, Lego The Lord of the Rings sets have. And, of course it's the last bag, the mini figures. So, I put the, the sets in individual bags, so it doesn't look like there's many pieces, but there are just, there's plenty of bags. But what's really important are the mini figures, so I'll be reviewing them very shortly. But first, I just wanted to mention that the set has 756 pieces, so it's a decent amount for ships. I know the Black Pearl has 804, Queen Anne's Revenge has like 1,097. So if you compare them to other ships LEGO have made, not like long ago before making the set, it's, it's a pretty decent amount. And another thing I've noticed, the sails are not like, well, there's only one thing that attaches them. Like there's nothing attaching them together, like horizontally or anything. So maybe that's why there's less pieces, but I think it does the job pretty well. And you know, it's, it's a boat. It doesn't have to be that big. So I think for the amount of pieces, it's reasonable. But now I'll show you the mini figures. While I'll be opening them, I wanted to talk a bit about the price. So the thing is, the set costs quite a bit now because it's retired, right? And LEGO never made any other LEGO The Lord of the Rings pirate ship. So that's why it's worth quite a bit. However, I doubt that LEGO will release any other sets like these in the future. So I think it's just gonna keep appreciating value. So that's why if you're interested in getting a set, now would probably be a good time to do so because it's just gonna keep appreciating value. I remember I made this mistake with the LEGO of the Battle of, of Helm's Deep, right? Because I really love this set. It's one of my favorite scenes from Lord of the Rings. But then I didn't buy it when it was like 300 US back then, brand new seal, because I was like, oh, it's too expensive. But then every year it kept appreciating in value, like at least 50 bucks plus a year. So over the years, now it's worth like 500 US. So now it's like, I really don't want to buy it. Luckily I had it, I got a good deal and I had it used. 
but I really don't want to buy it like brand new seal for what it's worth because it's just so expensive, right? So that's that's my advice here. But then it's just gonna keep appreciating in value anyway, so one day it's gonna reach a thousand bucks. So if you want this set, it's a good time to buy it now. All right, so I have all the meat figures lined up, so now it's time to do a close up and show you all those magnificent detailed meat figures. All right, so as you can see right here, we got all the mini figures and they look incredible. That's another thing I really love about the set is the amount of mini figures they put for back in the days, I think it was a $103 set. This Mordor Orc actually has an armor, so I think that's neat. And he has an axe, which is different from the sword. So that's one thing I noticed in the latest Lord of the Rings Lego sets, they actually put different weapons for the Mordor Orcs, which I really like. Then you have this pirate right here, Gimli, Aragorn, Legolas, and the three soldiers of the dead, including the king, which are magnificent me figures, very detailed. And I'm actually impressed because they actually have an alternate face, which I'm about to show in a few seconds. And that's why I think they look magnificent. Okay, so here are the mini figures from the back. They have alternate faces, like I said. All of them actually, except the Mordor orcs, like usual. But I think it's really nice. Lego actually like surpassed themselves for the Lord of the Rings sets, I think. Especially that they were released in like 2012, 2013. And Lego back then didn't really put that much details in like the alternate faces and everything. So that's why I think Lord of the Rings sets are like the greatest. And even to this day, they're still really good. So that's it for the minifigures. Now let's go back to the original view. All right, so that completes this Lord of the Ring review. I highly suggest you get the set if you don't have it. Like I said, it's gonna appreciate in value. If you're interested in getting the set, well, you can click the links in my description because I have a link to my eBay and Breaking store and I'm actually selling the set. So make sure to check it out. Have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.